This will essentially be the second part of a two-part series of our, our pulling method that involves not using the deadlift uh, to develop a big, heavy, strong deadlift. Uh, last time we talked about the rack pull being the top part of a two-part sequence of partial movements. And today we're going to talk about the halting deadlift. The halting deadlift covers the same range of motion that a deadlift does, only it stops at the top of the patella. This is going to provide about four or five, maybe six inches of overlap between the rack pull and the halting deadlift, so that this area in the middle is dealt with in both uh, movements. In the halting deadlift, one of the, the primary things we're trying to keep in mind, just like in the, in the, in the rack pull, is that we are going to try to stay out over the bar a little bit longer than we would in the full deadlift. Full deadlift involves a change in back angle, and for the vast majority of everybody, back angle is changing by the time the bar gets to the bottom of the, just the area of the tibial plateau. Some people change back angle just as soon as the bar starts to leave the floor. There's some variation on this. The change between a full actual deadlift and the halting deadlift is that we're going to intentionally try to stay out over the bar for the whole pull until the bar gets to the top of the knees and then set it back down. Let's look at Josh do this. Uh, let's look at back angle on a regular deadlift first and see if we can do two, three reps at just 135 with a regular deadlift. And let's look at this and see if you can see the subtle distinction between these two. Sometimes it's not terribly apparent at 135, but it should be by the time we get to a heavy weight. That's a regular deadlift. You'll notice that his back angle pretty much immediately begins to change off the floor. Okay. Now, let's retool this thing to a halting this time. Try to keep shoulders in front of the bar a little bit longer, and you'll be able to tell, probably even with 135, a big difference. for a single. Then we're going to do a set of eight at 405. Uh, halting deadlifts seem to like higher reps. That's not graven in the stone. You can use fives however you think they might work. Uh, let's go on up to two and a quarter and see what happens. Okay, two and a quarter for another set of five. These things need to be warmed up pretty thoroughly. Once again, try to keep the shoulders out over the bar. Another way to think of that might be pay extra attention to keeping the bar back on the legs. You'll actually feel the lats engage on this thing. It actually, I almost hesitate to say this, but it actually has some things in common with the way, oh my God, I'm, with the way a row feels. A little tiny bit right at the top from the bottom of the knee to the top of the knee. Give it a try. Out of the ball. Like that. It's good. Good. Some people advocate pulling the bar up to the top of the kneecaps and pausing at the top. We're not going to pause these, but that's certainly an option, certainly a way to do it. Let's go to 315. Since we know we're going to 405 from set of 8 today, and we're going to pyramid the warm-ups, 315 be done for a double. Stay out of the bar. Push the bar away from the floor. Push your feet into the floor. Push the middle of your foot into the floor. Like that. Good. Okay. 
you'll notice he's using his double overhand grip on this. For grip work, go ahead and stay with the double overhand grip for all your warm-ups. Uh, we'll do 365 for a single, then go to 405. This is 365, we'll do this for a single. Now, this would be the last warm-up without straps. This is your grip work for the night. Once again, just a double overhand grip. <clears throat> Push the floor away from the bar. Stay out of it. Okay. 405 for 8, do the straps. Okay, 8, 405. Josh is going to use straps on this last set. This particular suite of exercises, the grip strength, should already have been established because you're not going to be doing these until you're deadlifting sets of five up in the mid-400s anyway uh, without straps. So when we strap on these work sets, it's fine because that's not what we're trying to work. All right, eight. Let's get it. Push the middle of your foot into the floor. Floor away from the bar. Okay, now tie it back. The back exercise. There we go. That's the movement. Good, half of them. Go. And looking good. Squeeze your back. Think about the back. Get it. into your program, they alternate every other week as the heavy pulling movement with rack pulls as we talked about in the previous video. Good luck on your deadlifts.